if I wasn't such a sucker for Air Jordan 1s, would I even pick up this pair? What's good guys, Ash Bash back again with another sneaker review. And this is for the Air Jordan 1 Crimson Tint. So like a lot of my recent reviews, these shoes have actually been sitting here for a long, long time. Um, they actually got delivered to my neighbor's house and have been sitting there for a little bit. They're one of them neighbors that doesn't have a doorbell. So getting hold of them is tricky as it is. They eventually knocked on my door and gave me my pair. But by now it is too late to even return them if I wanted to, it's my fault. I had him in time to check him out and see if I liked him or not. But it is what it is. Uh, we shall see if I keep them or get rid of them. There's no resale on it, so I'm not keeping it to resell or nothing like that. I think you can still get them in stores, but it is what it is. Anywho, let's show you the kit. So these shoes come in your standard black and red Nike box uh, on the box itself. It says color wise, black, crimson, tint and white. And I got these in a UK 10 my normal size for Jordan 1s. And boom, here is the shoe in its... Well damn, look at that match. <laughs> Here's the shoe in its crimson tint and black glory. Um, first of all, I'll tell you what my first thoughts with the shoe is. Before it even came out, I was like, yes, 100%, yes, I'm copying the shoe, this is gonna be sick. And then pictures came out of more close-ups and I was like, why is the leather tumbled like that? And then I saw the toe box in person and I was like, why is it so stiff like that? Pause. But yeah, um, my excitement has been very, very low since I actually copped the pair. And that's why I guess I wasn't in a rush to go upstairs and check them out properly only until now, which has been a long time now that I've actually had these. It's a late review. But yeah, it's actually not as bad as I thought but the toe box is as bad as I thought. So let's get in the details and I'll show you close up of what I'm talking about. So silhouette wise, this is your standard Air Jordan 1 high, which is good, not a mid. Um, they've been doing a lot of mids lately in colorways that people have really like looked forward to. So it's been a bit disappointing, especially if you're into the OG highs only. So it was nice when I did a colorway like this, kind of got those rust pink vibes and like you, I'm sure you're not up for paying like a grand or two grand that the rust pinks are going for at the moment. So this was kind of like your second best option for a pair of these, but this leather, oh, this leather, what were they thinking? So the leather, the black part is done in this weird tumbled leather, kind of reminds me of what you find on the black cement threes, but it just doesn't look cool to me. I don't know why they didn't go for what you get on like a normal bread or whatever, that soft plain leather, it would look so much better and this would have made the shoe like fly off the shelves, I think, they wouldn't have none of these sitting because it would just be like, yeah, this shoe is the one. But they went for this tumbled look. I don't know if someone at Jordan Brown was like, let's just try this, see how it goes. A lot of this shoe looks like it's like, let's just try this and see how it goes. And I don't know, I don't think it went too well, but it's not a bad shoe overall. But yeah, so the toe area here is done in this, it's actually kind of softish to be fair, black weirdo tumble leather, but the toe box is super duper stiff pause once again uh, super stiff and from people that I know that I've got this pair they said like your first couple steps and you're gonna get a crease mark in it if you know me I'm not really someone that cares too much about the whole creasing gate on sneakers but I don't want it happening like ASAP with the shoe so see if it happens but hopefully it doesn't but it doesn't definitely feel stiff and it feels like the sort of material that will bend and it's a wrap on it looking nice and flat uh, the rest of the shoe, this whole um, lateral side is done in that same black tumblish leather. But the swoosh itself is done in this flat leather, which I wish the whole shoe was done in. It would have been so much nicer. If they swapped it around where this bit was the flat, the toe box was tumbled, the swoosh was tumbled. I think that's the same thing you get on the Royal Ones. That would have been fine. I'd have been happy with that. Like, just, that's cool. But the way they've done it, yeah, I'm not excited. But anywho, yeah, so it's got this flat, it's crimson tint um, swoosh. Back of the shoe, it's got more of that crimson tint. It's got the Wings logo here in a black glossy look. Along the top part of the shoe here, again, is done in tumble, but it's super duper soft, so can't be mad at that on the ankle collar. Middle side of the shoe, exactly the same again. Nothing crazy to see here. Midsole is done in brilliant white, and the most surprising part to me is the sole itself is done in crimson tint. 
I really wasn't expecting that. For some reason, you'd think Jordan would be safe and go for like a black sole or something like that. But they went for crimson tint, they went all out, and it looks pretty fire, I must say. Uh, a standard, the laces come uh, with a black lace, but I've gone for the crimson tint laces just to set it up a little bit more on the shoe. But weirdly, and when I say weirdly, this shoe has green tips on it. Green. 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 Why the hell is it green? I just, it doesn't add up, doesn't make sense. Pink, black, and green. Why green? It doesn't make any sense. And it actually comes with spare laces, which are also green for no reason. So I'd love someone in the comments to tell me what the significance of that is, because I personally cannot work it out. It looks bizarre. I've seen people put the green laces in here and it's not the worst thing ever, but it's definitely not what I'm going to be doing. That's for sure. Anyways, so the tongue, your standard Jordan 1 tongue, and it's got Nike Air written here with the swoosh in crimson tint. Uh, the inside of the shoe is done in this super sort of pink colorway with Nike Air written inside there. And that's pretty much it for details of this shoe. Gonna chuck it on feet, show you what it's like. Let go. And we're back as a quick look at the crimson tints on feet tell me what you think um they actually look super fire on feet cannot deny that at all so how fire it looks is enough for me to want to keep it but quality yeah not excited if i got this for a discount price like 70 80 i'd have been way happier than the standard what 130 i think these cost it's just it's just not super high quality i would say that toe box is definitely going to bother me but it is what it is i was actually looking at my um swooshless ones which are in a very similar colorway and they also have a super like um bumpy toe box i never really noticed that before that this is super creased but it's what it is just a little comparison of the colorway wise i think this was called arctic orange and it's a slightly different hue to this anyways but yeah um looks wise the shoes fire but it's not the best material ever in a jordan one so i can see why they've been sitting and people haven't been super excited about it what is cool though is people doing the customs to make them into the rust pinks where they are painting in this black panel here and making it white and doing the swoosh in black i watched a couple of videos on how it's been done I'd love to do it, but I don't think I have the patience. One guy, it took him like eight hours to do it. The result, which I will show you now, looks super fire, so I can't deny that. But it's a lot of effort. The amount of coats he had to do and all that, I'd be worried about messing it up as well. So I don't know if I'm gonna do it, but if someone wanted to do it for me, I'd probably let them do it, but yeah. So yeah, a decent shoe. Probably gonna keep it from the looks of it but I'm not super duper excited because of how it's made. So if you're considering it, try and, I don't know, wait and see if there's any discounts coming out. They normally happen for shoes for Jordan 1s that sit anyway. So you might be lucky and find it in the future. But if you're going in now, be prepared to not be super excited by the quality. But anywho, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Ashbrash Sneakers, post out pictures pretty much every day and subscribe to the channel hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads i'm out there you go